So I'll explain a little bit about how I teach an inside flank. Um, credit goes to Mike Dow. He's the one who taught me. Um, so anyway, so I'm standing as close to this fence as I can get. Um, there's probably like two big steps. And the idea is to send him um, on a direction all the way behind me, down him, you know, here. I have my goats here. Um, that's just where they happen to stay. But ideally, and the goal is that I'll keep taking steps back until I'm up against the fence and Tuna has no choice but to go in front of me. And it's really, um, I really like this method of doing it. I've seen a couple other ways to do it. Um, and this one has worked for me with a bunch of dogs. So I continue to use it. Um, you just want to watch some stress signs, take it really easy, um, and be really kind to your dog, trying to learn how to go in front of you when its whole beginning was taught to go away from you, if you know what I mean. So anyway, I will show you um, a little bit about that. Come by. He comes around me, come by, down. And so when he's going slow, one, the goats were right behind me, eating these twigs and stuff, down. Yeah. Down. Good boy. Um, so he was going slow because he doesn't like to really blow in and murder stuff. Um, so he was pushing him out of the way, and it's a lot of pressure coming behind me, up against the fence. And it's going to be a lot of pressure, understanding, to come in front of me, and that's okay. So I try to not pressure him with my voice. I just try to let him feel it out and if he needs help, I'll take a step forward so he feels like he can go behind me. Tuna, come by. Down. Take a step forward, come by. Come by. Down. So I had to take a step forward, which is okay. Do not get mad at your dogs that you have to help them out a little bit. And this is the second time uh, we're trying this. So I'll kind of go back to where I originally was. Away. Good boy. I'll try to turn around with him so I don't make you dizzy. Down. Away. Good boy down now i'm gonna try to take a half step back just to you know speed it up a little come by because i think you can handle it and if he doesn't then i'll take a step forward good boy and when they come behind you or start coming to you down you can tell them good boy you can shush them um, to help jazz them up a little bit so they understand that that pressure is okay away Good boy. Down. Now I'll do this a couple times. Also, another thing that I'll be doing, down. <sighs> Come by. Shh. Come by. Down. Because I'll down them right here instead of here. So I'll do the same thing right here. Down. You little sucker. <sighs> down down he needs to learn some patience apparently good boy down good boy so then from there i'll send him behind me and then on the other side i'll do the same around and then kind of wean off from the middle away Shh. good boy down come by good boy down take another half step back down just see what it does. And like I said in another video, you don't want to constantly go back and forth, back and forth between the directions because then I had a problem with a dog I started a couple years ago that I'd down her and she'd pick up off a down and go the other way. Like it, I mean, she would not down in. Even if I said, you know, one command down and then the same command, she would still go the opposite way. So do not make that mistake. <laughs> um, always keep it kind of fresh. But I'll send them this way. Come by. Come by. Just be real quiet. Down. Come by. Good boy. Down. 
way down. Good boy. Down. Walk. And I'll end it there. Um, I probably did that, what, four minutes? Five minutes, maybe? Um, and I'll move on to other stuff, but that was very good for the second time. I'm pretty close to that fence. So, anyway, thanks for watching.